so hi today i have just filmed a video i didn't like it so this is the second video of the day <laughs> So we shall see how this goes. Today I wanted to do a Q&A. I tried to do this the other day, um, a while ago. I didn't get any, um, no one answered my question. No one gave me any questions. So there is one on here. Yeah, so this has 254 Q&A questions for your YouTube vlog. I don't know if you can see that. I'm not going to go for 254, I'm going to do about 20, just because you guys, I've done a lot of videos now, I've done quite a few, and I've never really done a Q&A, just sit down, get to know me, you know I'm a loud mouth, um, yeah, so I just thought I'd get a sit down and get to know you, so rather than just sitting here rambling, blabbing and whatnot, so first one, have you ever met someone famous? I, oh yeah, I've met Sarah Platt off um coronation street and who bear grills i've met and um ken as well of coronation street i've met all three of those all while i was a waitress in wales at the same place so i've met all three of them would you like to be famous i think there is a bit of me that would want to be but i think that's just because i'm a loud mouth um i don't think i'd like the intrusiveness of it um like they're having to because obviously with the famous side of it you've got the publicity so i don't think i'd want the publicity actually i'm just going to scrap that i'm just going to no i wouldn't <laughs> if you could change one thing that happened what would it be probably my whole high school i would probably change the whole of my high school career mainly because me and john have always had this conversation i would love to go back knowing what i know now and do the whole of high school i would quite happily do that but then again i'm still in the same mindset i could go into school tomorrow and get away with it so it just goes to show because i don't feel like i've changed at all but i will show a picture here of what i look like in high school i could not get away with that now but one can dream so Jono has this new game and it has the most annoying song on it ever. If you could live anywhere, where would that be? I would live in North Wales. Not saying where, because I don't want you all going up there and ruining it. But yeah, I would move up to North Wales. I think me and Jono have already said we want to retire up there. So we're going to follow. We're following my mum and dad and go into Wales um have you ever been in the snow i have back in was it 2010 or 2011 i think it was both um there was those times where it's either around february time where it snowed for week like it just kind of heavy snowed and it did not disappear for about four weeks i think i think i've got the years right can't remember let me know if i haven't and it was so thick that everything, like the whole country came to a stop. You think everything's on a stop now, wait until it snows. Everything just stops. You can't physically do anything. The country doesn't know how to deal with it. Um, so I've been in snow twice then. Um, the odd occasion when it has just done a little dusted of snow. And when I was eight or nine, I think it was must have been when I was eight. Um, my dad very kindly took me to Lapland for the weekend um, and I was in waist deep snow but I'm a little person as you can probably tell so waist deep snow is probably only about that big. Um, next question, who would be your ideal partner without a shadow Jason Momoa please? I know it doesn't say celebrity but Jason Momoa that whole Australian Australian, New Zealand, Maori, yeah. I'm just gonna leave it there. I'm not going any further into that. Um, do you still have your childhood teddy bear? Yes, I do. 
he's here. Where is he? He's here. So this little guy is, I think, he is 21 or 20 years old. He's an old boy. He's a very old boy. He's very, if I sit him up, he's very sad looking. He needs restuffing really because he's never been restuffed. But if I turn him around, he's, very, he's looking very sorry for himself. But this little guy is a very inventive name. He's called Piggy. And back in the day, he used to have in here, so you can see there, there's a little, yeah, you can see it there, there's a little um, Velcro back. He used to have, and I don't know if you can hear, yeah. He had a battery pack in him that if you pressed each little bit on his feet, and his hands and the middle of his tummy he used to do the this little piggy um rhyme and then as you press the middle it would shake which is why his head makes funny noise but he would shake and go all the way home but he used to have a neckerchief his tail is falling off and his eyes used to be up until recently these eyes were perfect since i went to uni he came with me and I have not been able to have a night without him now. So his eyes are very destroyed. And he has also got a little tongue here. And his ears have become a little, a little crooked. But he is mine and Jono's child. He lives here. He comes to bed with us every night and he's probably fallen over now. Oh no. Um, yeah, he's in bed with us every night. I cannot sleep without him. Yes, I'm a 24 year old or almost 24 year old who sleeps with a teddy. Do I care? No, I don't. I cannot sleep without him. And it's also got to the point that my 34 year old other half has shouts at me if he wakes up and he's either fallen out of bed or I've left him on the side. So I can't win. I'm a 24 year old who sleeps with a teddy and I've got a 34 year old boyfriend who shouts at me if I don't have him. Next question. <laughs> How many pairs of shoes do you have? I have no idea. Too many. Over 20, I wanna say. I need to count them. They are wardrobe. You would have seen from my get ready with me video where I do the morning routine cleaning the room. I don't know if you see it, but my wardrobe, it's an inbuilt wardrobe here on this side and you can't see the floor of shoes. It needs sorting out. That is one thing that I am gonna be doing. Um, while I'm off is sorting out that wardrobe and you're currently sat on my chest of drawers which I will be sorting that out as well. Um, I do this every so often, every couple of weeks. I will sort everything out and within a few weeks it'll just be about to be in a mess again. But one can try. This thing, I don't know, I cannot begin to tell you how many times I've sorted this out and it just ends up, we're just going to leave that there. Favourite holiday, beach, mountain or city beach? without a shadow beach i it's mainly pool i prefer pools just because being a redhead being a redhead um i get overheat really quickly i don't like the sun um i do like the sun that's a lie um i do like sitting in the sun it just gets very hot and i get really snappy if i'm hot um i felt really bad for jono because he'd never seen me in proper heat until we went to france to two years ago now and he was he couldn't get over what was wrong he kept asking what was wrong and my parents just had to go she's warm just leave her she'll she'll be fine in a minute when she cools down so it is yeah beach because i can throw, jump myself in the sea um do you like tv talent shows the only one i like um no the only two that i like are Britain's Got Talent and the occasional episode of The Voice. They're the only two that I like. Um, I used to love X Factor, then it just got stupid. And The Voice up until, I think, after everyone's turned around, um, then I'm not that interested. Um, what are your opinion on reality shows? I think they're overrated. Um, I do have watch the occasional like um i'm saying that but technically youtube and vlogs and stuff are reality shows aren't they um 
but things like Kardashians, overrated, um, like The Only Way is Essex, Made in Chelsea, that sort of stuff, never watched a single episode. Um, I just It just doesn't appeal to me, it really doesn't. Do you like scary movies? No, I don't. I hide. Um, I watched Unfriended um, back on my first year of uni. We all went and watched Unfriended. I managed to get that scared during the trailers. I spent the whole film hiding behind my friend's jumper. I watched about five minutes of that film without hiding. So no, I don't like them. I'm a mother-in-law, absolutely loves the horror channel. And every time I have to walk into a room, I have to turn around and walk back out again. I just can't do it. It gives me, they give me nightmares, even now. La, have you fired a real gun? No, because they're illegal in the UK. Although I do want to go to a shooting range, if that's possible. I do want to try it. Last film you watched? What was the last film I watched? Oh, Black Panther. I've got the, um, Disney Plus on my phone and I just sat here and watching Black Panther. So that was the last film I watched. Um, do you like roller coasters? I love roller coasters, which is really annoying because Jono hates them. Well, he doesn't hate them. He really wants to go on roller coasters, but he suffers with vertigo. So I've seen him in a water park where he's done really well. And then a couple of days later, he's been toppling over because it knocks his balance out. So he will, he has openly admitted he would love to go on roller coasters. And he's just, he physically can't do it. He can do it, he'll go on them, but then he's just, he's completely out of it for the next two days. Some journeys that we go on, um, the Wales one normally crucifies him, going back and to from mum and dad's house. The odd occasion he's just been knocked out from it and we've just had to like leave him, stick him in bed and he's taken him a couple of days to get used to it. Um, so I do love them. I do love them and for some reason I really really like the scary ones and the ones that cause harm um and if it's bigger the better even though I'm petrified of heights and it takes me about three attempts to get in the queue but yeah have you ever cried at a film yes I am such an emotional wreck Molly and me gets me every single time um what else gets me Titanic I cried Titanic Titanic Molly and me they're the two main ones I can't think of any others. Yeah, they're my two main ones. But yeah, I have cried at movies. Um, the perfect job or the perfect relationship? Can I not have both? Because I've got both at the moment. Yeah, I've got both at the moment. So yeah, both. What is your favourite candle scent? Um, I currently have it on at the moment. It is a Christmas one. It's the Yankee Candle um, candy canes. It lives on Jono's side because as you would have seen on my 9th, 2019 favorites it's Jono's favorite candle at the moment so it lives on Jono's side so I've got my I don't know what it's doing at the moment it's having a little dance with itself so it's showing off in front of you that's what it's doing so yeah this one is my favorite it is the candy canes I also like the um bath and body works um marshmallow fireside that's another one but I can't afford it um, this one over here is a wax, where is it? There it is. This light over here is a wax melt and that currently has Jador in, I think. Short hair or long hair? At the moment, short because this is doing my head in, but as soon as I cut it short, I want it long. So we're staying with the long. We'll say long hair. Do you wear makeup every day? No, I try and not wear makeup. I'll wear it for my videos um, if it's not a makeup video. Um, although a few of my vlog vlogs that I've tried to film, I won't wear makeup. Um, and then on a weekend, if I'm not filming, no makeup. As soon as I come home from work, it's off. Um, do, 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 do. What is your pet's name? We have a little dwarf hamster. He's called Nigel. And he's adopted from the Pets at Home Adoption Centre. So he came with the name Nigel. They said you can change it, but no, he's our little baby. And he's currently still awake. He's been awake since we got up this morning. He has not stopped running on his wheel. We don't know what's going on with him today. He's broken. The last thing that made you cry, the fact that I can't see my mum 
I had to ring her on Saturday uh, in a right state, saying that I missed her. Um, I was I was crying so much that Jono had to Jono ran me a bath to make me feel better. <laughs> Um, if you won the lottery, what would you do? I I think I've already said this before. I'd still work, but go down to part time. Um, pay off, but I would clear any outstanding mortgages for any of my family, um, and buy our house in cash, and then live off the interest. Well, you can tell my dad works in finance, can't you? Because live off the interest. I got a clue what it means. Have you ever been featured in the news? Yes, I have. When I was three or four, I want to say, I, my grandma took us, me and my cousin, for a photo shoot for our parents. And it was entered into a um, child modelling competition in our local Guardian and it was the millennium and i won and i will put on my picture yeah. so that little ginger curly hair cheesy grin silver butterflies in her hair with the dodgy fringe line mother um that won the charming child of the millennium and i believe i think i got a either a 12 month or a two year modeling contract um vouchers and premium bonds i think i can't remember yeah and then I think they were up for, it was up for renewal, but I think it was when I trapped my hand in the door and I had an x-ray and she said, say cheese. And I did my normal camera cheese. So I did like my proper, like stupid smile that I had to do for when I was doing my modeling. And then my mum was like, no, she's precocious enough as she is. She doesn't need to be uh, having that as well. So, but even though we stopped it, I still precocious brat. Sorry, mother. Love you. Um, can you stand on one foot for an entire minute? No, I can't. I have tried. I cannot. I used to be able to before my legs were rebuilt. Um, that is a story time for another day. And since then, I can't because I didn't finish off my physio. What star sign are you? I am a Leo. Yeah, a Leo. I'm kind of like either stops the 22nd or the 23rd of August. So it either stops right on my birthday or the day after. What talents do you have? Um, apart from some people say about my makeup and my hair, I am also a, or used to be, probably, yeah, I can still do it. Um, I am a classical trained opera singer. But don't expect any proof of that because it's not going to happen. Ask anyone I went to school with and they'll tell you. What was your favourite holiday? It was two years ago when we went to France with all of my side of the family. So it was my mum and dad, me and Jono, Adam, my brother, my sister-in-law and my other brother, sister-in-law and their little boy. So it was the whole family. Me and my two brothers grew up there. We went to the same caravan site um it was the same route the same caravan site stayed off at the same hotel on the way there because we drive and it was just we visited all the places that we used to go as little and it was just something else two weeks of bliss it was just the best holiday what food do you love the most pizza don't get this big without loving a bit of pizza and it has to be pepperoni so what are your favourite things to do? At the moment, um, given that it's lockdown, my favourite thing to do is either my uh, journal, my bullet journal. So this thing, I will spend about four or five hours on a weekend or an evening when I finish work doing this. It takes up my life. So I'll either do that or we go for a walk once a day um, for an hour that we are due to do today. So... They're my favourite things at the moment because I can't do anything else. And I love this. This is the last question on this page. And it was for first, um, I've not gone through any of these actually. It was the first Q&A video for your YouTube channel. The last one is, are you going to show your real personality or are you a character? Uh, this is me. This is, this is, uh, right, I'm just gonna turn that off. Um, this is my, me. I am this much of an eccentric person. Um, no character whatsoever. 
this is all me um yeah so yeah there's no character involved this is all me if you like it thanks for sticking around if not you know where to go um but no i really appreciate you guys watching this if you like these kind of q a's let me know questions um because i love doing these kind of things and i know i've gone through a lot there so if there's anything else that you want to see then please let me know this will be going up on saturday and yeah saturday at half five and then there's one going up it's currently wednesday and as i'm filming this it's live actually is it live let me see let me see is it live it should be if it's not then something wrong so yeah she's live so that's just gone up an hour ago so i'm currently filming this whilst that one's going live so it is not going to make any sense because as well on the video that i did on saturday that i put up on monday um the one that's gone up today is filmed at the beginning of march so it's just before lockdown um oh no it's not it's just as we're going into lockdown um because halfway through that call halfway through filming that i did get a call to say i'm going to be working from home so that one is i'll say that my skin's breaking out and then on Mon the one that went up on monday saying my skin's doing better um as well as just jono working from home and me not so ignore anything that i mentioned about that i am fa fairly sane at that point at this point i am not so if you want any more videos then let me know what you want to see um as well because i've got my list in here of things that i want to do but i want to add to it as well so please let me know what you want to see if you want to do another q a let me know questions down below subscribe please i only have 26 people and 70 percent of you aren't subscribed that watch my videos so if you like these then please let me know subscribe share and the usual but if not love you see you next week